Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom health bar just like this inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get started. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is we're going to go ahead and head over to Star GUI. And we're going to add in a billboard GUI. So you want to just type in billboard and add one in there. Next, you want to rename this to, uh, we're going to name this to health bar uh, GUI. Now, inside of this, guys, we're going to add in a frame. And this frame, we're gonna set the name to health bar. And uh, by the way, guys, if you notice that you can't see your billboard GUI, it's because by default, billboard GUIs are set to like stay in the middle of the whole base plate. So what we're gonna do is quickly select our ba our billboard GUI, and then we're gonna scroll down to properties, and then we're gonna find studs offset, and we're gonna change the Y axis to three. And now you should be able to see it. And now we're going to change the position, uh, sorry, the size of the health bar frame to 1, 0, 1, 0. And this should fill this up all the way. And we're going to change the color for this to a red because this will be the, this will indicate the damage basically. Uh, next, we're going to add in another frame and once again change the size to uh, 1, 0, 1, 0. And then we're going to change the background color to a green, just like that. And also, guys, we're going to name this frame to bar. All right, guys, so next, what we're going to do is add in a text label. This text label is going to be stay uh, stay on top of the of GUIs or the frames. And we're going to go down and then we're going to just quickly customize this to a font. Change the color to white. Uh, text scaled. I'm going to change the background transparency to one and then we're just going to change the text to 100 uh, out of 100, I guess. All right. And now what we're going to do is run back to health bar GY. We're going to add in a object value. I'm going to name this value to player. All right. So the guys, now the next part is optional. You don't really have to do, but uh, what I'd like to do is add UI corners inside of each of the frames. Uh, that's you UI. that's the wrong one just like that and what this will do guys is basically just add in a quick curve around our uh, guis to make it look better i guess what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to server script service and we're gonna add in a script all right we're gonna start off by adding our variables so we're gonna start off with local players is equal to game colon get service and then we're gonna do players with the capital p we're going to go down, we're going to do local uh, server storage is equal to, and we're going to do game uh, colon get service. And then we're going to add colons, our uh, speech marks and the server storage. Next, we're going to define our health bar GUI. So we're going to do health bar, uh, health bar GUI is equal to server storage. And we're going to do colon wait for child. And then we're in uh, speech marks, we're going to do health bar GUI. Now, just after you do this step, guys, we want to make sure that our health bar GUI is moved inside of service storage. Just for the this to work. And we're going to go down and do players dot player added colon connect function. And we're going to do player. Next, we're going to do player dot character added and connect function and then we're gonna do character now we're gonna do we're gonna add a uh, humanoid uh variable so we're gonna do local humanoid is equal to character and we're gonna do um colon wait for child and bracket and speech marks we're gonna do humanoid with the capital h we're gonna go down and add a health bar uh clone basically so we're gonna do local health bar clone is equal to um uh, health bar gy and then we're going to do uh, the colon and then clone with the brackets at the end. Then we're going to do health bar clone. And then uh, colon wait for child. And then, um, I just want my audio cut out, but yeah, in, in uh, speech marks, we're going health bar. And then we're going to do colon wait for child again. And this time in the speech marks, we do player. And then after this, we're going to do dot value is equal to player. And we're going to go down and we're going to do humanoid dot health display uh distance is equal to zero and then we're gonna do health bar clone no health bar 
to alpha clone right that uh, parent is equal to care oh i need to make sure got these right yeah is equal to character and then colon wait for child and we do head all right guys so that's the first script done now what we're going to do is close this and we're going to go back to service storage and inside of our health bar gui and what we're going to do is first make sure that every one of these so the object value the bar and the text label are all inside of the health bar and from here we're from the inside of the health bar gui we're going to add in a script uh, so with this script once again we start off with our variables with variables we're going to do local uh, player is equal to script dot parent colon wait for child and we're going to do, the, we're going to do players and then dot value then we'll do local character is equal to player dot character next we're going to add the local uh, bar so we're going to do local bar is equal to script dot parent and then colon wait for child and we're in these we're going to do bar or health bar next we're going to add the text label so we're going to do local uh, text label is equal to script dot parent wait for child and we're going to do text label and for the final one, we're going to do local humanoid uh, humanoid is equal to character colon wait for child all right so now we're going to add in a function so we're going to do function and we're going to call this to update and add a bracket and once you go down you should have an end up here then we're going to do health bar uh, dot tween size or colon tween size and we're going to do udim2 dot new and inside of these brackets we're going to do humanoid and we're going to do dot health and we're going to do space and we're, we're going to go out of these brackets and we're going to do humanoid dot max health and we're going to do comma comma zero and then comma one and then do another comma zero and then we're going to go outside these brackets and then we're going to do uh, comma enum dot easing direction and we're going to do dot out and we're going to do enum and then another dot easing style and then we're going to do dot out comma one comma true and once we just zoom out and there should be a bracket here a closing bracket so this part is pretty long um next we're going to go down and we're going to do text label dot text is equal to math dot lower and we're we'll add a bracket we're going to do humanoid and we're going to do dot health let me just zoom in real quick so i can see this properly and then we're going to go outside the brackets and we're going to do dot dot so this is a concatenation basically and we're going to do uh, inside of the two speech marks we're going to add a slash and we're going to add another two uh, dots and we're going to do math dot uh, floor and we're going to do humanoid dot health this should be max health by the way just like that now we're going to go um, beyond beyond this uh, end I'm going to do humanoid dot get property changed signal and I'm going to do uh, brackets and then uh, speech marks health and we do connect colon connect and we do update and then we're going to go back down here and we're going to do a humanoid so it's basically the same thing just copy and paste this and this time this is going to be max health all right guys and so that is the final script done what this basically does is just handles the main system i guess for where, how it will look and so what you guys want to do now is make sure this script is inside health bar gui and then now we can go ahead and test the game out all right guys so just before we start testing um one more thing i did test the game but it wasn't working i found a bug and what we have to do basically is make sure that the script was inside of the health bar and not the health bar ui uh but yeah after this it should work so if we go ahead and test the game you should see that it adds a custom health bar over my character now it might seem a little dim on one side but that's just because of the sun I move to this side you can see it's proper uh now to test this out there are two ways you could do multiplayer and add swords or add a kill break or something but easier way 
what all you have to do is go into testing and you're gonna find a button over here called current client if you don't see this on the home tab you can go to test and you'll find it over here but either way we're gonna click this and then just follow our character basically and then we're gonna head over to the explorer open up workspace you're gonna find your character open this up and you want to find humanoid and the properties scroll all the way down until you find health and let's just change this to i guess 10 and just like that our health changes if we go back to um current server and that's basically for this video so hopefully this video did help out be sure to like and subscribe and if you guys have any issues or any other video ideas comment on the section below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye